Merry Christmas, Taurus. Uh, happy holidays, whatever you celebrate. Okay, welcome to this time. Welcome to this space. Um, feel free to get comfy. Um, settle in. Usually the readings, or the readings more recently have been chill, right? Over the last few years, it's been a little, things have been a little bit more mellow in certain ways. Not that we don't get excited about stuff, but like, it's a mature, it's a mature feeling, right? Um, okay. I put up, I pulled out this book and for some reason I'm looking at Neptune. It's Planets in the Houses by Robert Pelletier. It's very, Awesome. This whole uh, pair of research um, publishing company is amazing. Very academic. I appreciate it. So most of my books are academic. What are your books? Or like mine are like, yeah, academic books, I guess. What kind of books do you have? Or did that, did that you gather? Um, th this wanted to come out. There's two points here. And, and this emphasizes... I saw Neptune in the 11th, so that's why we're reading from here. And so it says, which one do we start on? Okay. It says, you must face life realistically and discipline yourself to make the most of your basic resources. Being solvent will dispel your anxieties about the future. Now, in attempting to reach your goals, which I suppose has to do with future, goals is always synonymous, I suppose, with future, right? Or connected. I don't know if we could call it synonymous exactly, but we'll take it. It's goals are synonymous to the future, right? Not the past. Okay. So in, in attempting to reach your future, your future goals, if you happen to feel like there's this undercurrent or frequency of disappointment then it is definitely time to redefine uh, those goals at least periodically this word period that's reminding me of a periodical right uh, uh, it's where we usually receive some sort of written written down words that are talking about a particular thing a certain certain times through the year and that changes a little um, so perhaps that would that's something that's also being suggested especially as we're entering into a new Gregorian uh, cycle right it says unless you work to improve the quality of life for those around you I don't feel like you have an issue with this part it says you may never feel content with your achievements so I guess improving the quality of the life or those around you could have to do with your, I heard your own confidence and perhaps what, like what are your goals in relation? Because I, all right, there's a few things here. Because the goals themselves, even if they, th that say are more purely yours, I feel like those still connect with others. But to know what yours are, and I feel like we've talked about this for a lot of this year, is like, what do you want? What, what do you want now? Right? It's, it's, uh, you, you I'm, I know some of you had made, have made some big, brave choices in shifting uh, places and people in your life, right? D again, definitions. And I guess with the close of this year and entering into a new one, um, I heard you, you don't have to cut down the tree, but you want to, because right now it's a time to plan, right? It's a time to, and maybe you want to write that out. I've actually find Taurus has very uh, strong magical ability and ways of writing. A lot of you used to be technical to me, past life wise, can show like magicians of another life, but that doesn't mean because you're the opposite of Scorpio, some of you might not have used your power correctly last time. And that's why if you're afraid of writing, sometimes that's the case. Um, at very least, there's an awareness around the power of the written word. 
right? No, I heard never mind when that is then vocalized, right? It gives it doubly so. So there's that. And then I looked down and I saw never feel content with your achievements. If, if that's more of the focus and you do actually have the support on the outside and that's suiting to both, there's not a feeling of disappointment, but there's a feeling of discontentment and again, the, the overall feeling of, of your goals right now. And I think this has more to do with the self. Capricorn's reading the other earth was very in line with that. Um, so that might be a place for you to go. Um, one last little, uh, here's an astrological exercise that I saw as well as you could take your, your Leo house, you're here for Taurus, right? They're square to one another, 90 degrees. Um, but you take your Leo house and any planets you have there, put the, basically shift all your planets. What I saw was someone taking their Leo planets and putting them in Taurus, putting them in Taurus, but you don't change the house of Taurus. You just change the planet. So it's like, here's your map, right? Here's all the houses. Here's the pieces of the pie. You just take the planets and shift those until it makes sense. It's like a gear within within a gear. Can you, can you, maybe you want to do this? It feels interesting. It's like really getting into something because whatever this is unlocking or again, causing a mechanism to shift is opening up something so much bigger um, than I heard you could even realize or like imagine. Because you, ha I, I guess you haven't seen it yet. Very, something very ancient. Okay. Let's see what you're, according to the cards, what's the next step in the path for you, Taurus? Conviction. Emotional conviction. Some of you with sobriety. Um... Some of you would say fall of sobriety. But I suppose you could curb that. Just because that's the next step doesn't mean you have to... I, and I saw someone stepping in a pile of shit. <laughs> so it's like watch where you're, where you're walking. Okay. This could also be professing your love. Uh, love being professed to another. With deep conviction... Um, which I suppose then would would be calm and and okay. So this is also emotional calm is also the next step in your path, but it may feel a little wonky right now. It could be between now and Pisces time. There's a little bit of pouring out. Um, and I, I saw someone pouring a out a glass of wine or like pouring a glass of wine, pouring out. It's kind of that, it's like it filled it up. It took what it needed. It, it let it sit there for a moment and then it realized that it, it it's not, it's important what's in the cup, but it, it's more about, it's more about the vessel. Because the vessel can be reused. That which goes within changes all the time. The vessel stays. So I guess there could be more of a feeling of comfort too. The Knight of Cups is is comfy, you know. It's it, I feel like it's a it's a t it's a tidier person too. Not anal retentive like you know st super straight lines, overly modern. There would be there would be things that are maybe you'll just start to realize that the softer and um, sharper the softer and like sharper lines of 
what's around you. Perhaps wherever you're looking. Let's see what's hindering. It's always good to know our weakness or challenge. Um, hmm. Well, somebody has a habit. I heard someone's going to fall off the train or fall off the wagon. I don't know that. I don't know which way that term goes. I'm back. I'm on the wagon. I'm off the wagon. Oh, I'm on the wagon again. Oh, you're on the wagon again. Why is it a wagon? You ever think about that? So you are meant to change, you must be meant to change a habit. I mean, this is showing, it's, it, these cards to me, um, this is addiction, alcoholism, um, where we emotionally fill, although it's it always empty. It's like you're filling the glass, but instead it's just pouring right out the bottom. You know, that's, that's the kind of waste of... That's where the, it's the addiction energy where like it doesn't, there's a little bit of insanity there because it keeps doing the same thing, but it's not changing. It's not actually creating what someone wants. So something has to shift there. And even though it's emotional, it also has a lot to do with the physical. Like the physical parts of life, like home, where we sleep, who we sleep with, uh, who we're connected to. Um, like, again, when we're around them physically. So you could be more tired in this time. It is an in conjunct to you, so it's an adjustment point. This is also a very excessive time, right? So actually, if you do drink, you're going to have a wicked hangover. You're going to wake up and feel probably guilty about it. Even if you're just like a casual and be like, whoa, I had way too many glasses of wine. You know, like that kind of thing. Way too many of something. And maybe someone has to go to an excess to be able to understand it, but it's... Oh, your hindrance is also that it's not summer anymore. Okay. It, it, so we're getting into winter, right? Happy solstice. It's it's um. That may be hard. It's like oh, I miss I miss the light of things, right? It, where I am right now, it's already starting to get dark in such a time that I am not used to still, and it it is definitely um, a different you know different thing. Or some of you have like seasonal depression, things like that. This is. Well, let's move forward. Oh, well, somebody needs to be able to sleep in a, even if you're a couple, somebody needs to sleep. I'm seeing one person sleep in a bed, like that kind of diagonal. I call it star fishing. It's like, you know, you might have one leg kicked over here, one arm over there, and it just all spread, you know, fully spread out. That's something in to, to do with hindrance. So some of you maybe need more space. Um, or you need to stretch out. All right, let's see what's favorable to us. Oh, King of Wands. Powerful. What's favorite? Okay, he to me represents. He's showing me good boundaries. Confidence. Um, he doesn't let anybody step on him. He ain't stepping on any toes either. Somebody may tell you no, but it's actually a good thing. 
it's not rude. Like if someone maybe disagrees or something like that, has a different opinion, questions something, it's not a bad thing. It actually, it could be a little bit testing, but, and I heard a person does what they want to do anyway. But this is actually, a, a, I heard friendly opposition in some kind of way. If you've also recently made very strong boundaries to say this is not allowed, which kind of is in line with what we've been talking about, right? King of Wands is, no, you can't cross this wall of fire. Even yeah, the wall of fire cannot be crossed. Then again, congratulations on the good boundaries. It's, it's mature. It's going to give somebody more energy. Their body will feel better. Their hair will also have more, like, more volume. Or like they can feel more energy just in general, like energy or heat in the body. Because part of the hindrance is that it's cold, but here it says what's favorable. So some of you are adapting. I guess this shows adaptation to an environment or shifting where you need to be so that things are easier for you. That's not avoiding or running away. It's I'm seeing it more nom in a sense nomadic. But if There's a fire sign alcoholic, or there's like a, an extreme. The wind's blowing that way, hold on a second. Yeah, what's kind of favorable is when the wind is to, to your face. Maybe you'll just notice that there's something when the wind is blowing right at you. Or wait, no, which way is this? When the wind blows on the right side of your face, it comes like that. Or maybe when the wind, when the wind is blowing, you could turn until, if you would feel it, turn until the wind hits that side of your face and maybe you'll see something. That's what's favorable. Because you're not supposed to walk, you don't have to walk directly into the wind. You wouldn't want that. You want the wind at your back, right? The wind at your, I love that. What is that? Irish blessing. The wind at your back. And until we meet again, may God hold you in his hands. I heard what's working for well what's what's the question well why don't you ask a question right now there's two cards that came here I guess you could ask kind of a try to yeah ask a question I'll wait a minute What saved your life? So somebody saved somebody's life or something saved somebody's life. Did I mention that we tried to do your reading before and this, it had a question about some, it, had, it talked about like car accidents, minor, major that you were involved with.
I can't help but um, not keep relating to this. Like it's as if it's my story. So let me let me try to just l l explain what I'm seeing. Turkey vultures flying above somebody. I guess there was a time when a person was so stuck. It's as if it like sent off the energy of dead is what I'm seeing or like wo deeply wounded. It's like, again, like the animals could pick up on it. Turkey vultures are like maybe uncertain, right? They check it out for a while, smell it out. And I'm seeing a person finally figure out like, hey, like stand up and be like, wait, hey, I'm alive. <sighs> you know, I'm not dead, I'm alive. And that energy built over time. And you know, in those wounded times too, a person did such brave, there's a lot of bravery during the suffering. Like not in the moment, it was, you couldn't feel it, but it made a person wise, but it also gave them a lot of scars. I'm seeing people with like, sc like uh, scarification. Sometimes it was ritualistic or ceremonial. Sometimes it was purely just for, you know, artistic. Sometimes it was purely just for pain. Huh. Some of you have a dog or knew a black dog. I guess this is also confirming that Well, I guess it's interesting. So Zumi showed up. She was one of our teachers, right? Our main teacher for eight years. Seven. Seven years. What does she want to clarify here? Well, I heard we have what we need. Oh, this is a valley, like a, like a chasm. I heard if you feel like you're in an in-between stage, you will, you will soon have your feet on the ground. Um... Someone's shoulder. This this shows me left shoulder. So the attitude to cultivate is the ace, ace of wands. Do you see this in the circle? Well, that's a positive outlook. That's fire rising. We are in Sag time though, so the stimulation that can come is very interesting. There, we have mutual receptions going on, um, lots of planets in debilitation or in opposing energy. There's a lot of blending like that. You know, it's like where you're mixing black and white, but it, it kind of makes this gray. I mean, that's why I've been wearing them, the black and white. Anyway. Um, oh, here's another astrological exercise. You can also put, shift the sun into your first house too. Leave your houses, turn, turn till the sun 
sits on your ascendant or sits in your first house. So you, uh, a person, if they needs a new mattress or needs a better bed, that could also be part of the hindrance. Sleeping is very important, especially once we get into winter season, right? The bear's got to be comfy. What do we sleep like a third of our life? Positive, confident, loving. You know, you can choose to remember anything any way you want to. But if you're trying to shift a hard place or a place that still pokes, we all have our thorns that never go away. So it's like we have to move with it so we know. But if it happens to be those kind of places... You may have to purposely, sh consciously shift that until it becomes more subconscious, right? It takes time to do that. I do think you've been mourning enough of something. Um, I heard guilt in yourself. And then I saw the words atonement. Okay. <sighs> All right, I'm back. We're back here. Okay, so thank you, Taurus, for being here. I also want to thank you so very much. Those of you who ordered Zumi Wisdom Oracle Deck, I, I'm so pumped to be able to share it. Uh, I'm already, I'm, I'm in the stage of... Um, I'm gonna begin the deck or the uh, the bag soon, which is really exciting. I put the order in on the, at the printer. Um, yeah, thank you, and you know any any support of it, even just the compliments. Thank you. Um, it's nice to have good energy and create in creation. I love supporting. Um, Well, fellow artists, you know, fellow friends, formidable fellows. <laughs> Thank you so very much. All right, I'll talk to you next time. Merry Christmas. Peace out.